Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will start with Firebase authentication. So we will make a little app here with which you can let users register to your app using Firebase and also log in. I assume that you already set up a layout like I did here because that is not part of Firebase. And I also assume that you watched my previous video and already connected your project to Firebase. If that is the case, we can go into Android Studio and include Firebase authentication with our app. We can do this using the Firebase Assistant. So go to Tools and click on Firebase. And on the right hand here, that Firebase Assistant opens. And here we have to choose authentication because that is the feature that we want to use in our app now. We open that up and click on the blue link. And as you can see, we already connected our app to Firebase, but we didn't add the Firebase authentication feature yet to our app. We can simply do this by clicking on this button. Then this dialog will open up and it will just tell us which changes it will do to our build.gradle files. So just some dependencies it needs here. Just click on accept changes. Then Gradle will sync and we still have to go into our build.gradle app file scroll down to the dependencies and here you can see that is our Firebase auth dependency it automatically included here but I will also add three more dependencies for coroutines because we will use coroutines in this series that's just the most modern way to use Firebase those are just the standard coroutine dependencies and that dependency is used to be able to use coroutines in combination with Firebase you can find these dependencies in this video's description, of course, as always. And also, if you don't know what coroutines are, I highly recommend you to watch my series about that first, because I don't explain that in this series, at least not in detail. So if you have done that, we can click on sync now and let Gradle sync our project files, jump back into main activity. And the first thing we need to do here is we need to get a reference to our Firebase authentication object. That is a singleton that is managed by Firebase itself and we just use it to get all the available Firebase authentication functionality. So we can get that by um, creating a late init var. I'll call it auth and you can see that is a Firebase auth. And in our onCreate function we can assign that auth to our Firebase auth dot get instance. And with that auth object we now have a lot of functions that we can use regarding authentication. We will start to write a function to register a new user. That will be a private function, register user. Doesn't take any parameters. And first of all, we want to get the email that the user entered by writing val email and set it to et email register dot text dot to string. And we also want to get the password that the user entered by writing et password register dot text dot to string. So that is just my email register edit text field and the password register edit text field. So we know the data that the user actually wants for his account. Then we should check if the email is not empty and the password is not empty too. In that case, we want to register our user. And we want to do this in the IO dispatcher of a coroutine because that is an IO operation. So coroutine scope um, dispatches.io.launch. We could also just use global scope here, doesn't really matter. And inside of that coroutine, we want to start a try and catch block because in case something goes wrong with our registration, this function that we will use for that will throw an exception and that can be really helpful. So in case we catch an exception, we simply want to show a toast to the user. But since we are inside of the IO dispatcher, we cannot access UI components. So we have to wrap that into a with context block and write dispatchers.main here. And here we can show our toast, toast.make text, this add main activity and pass our e.message, so our error message and toast.length long dot show. But of course we also need to write something in the try block. That is where the magic happens. Here we can call our auth object and create our user with email and password. So call that function. 
And that function takes two strings, which is of course the email and the password. And that single function will create our new account for Firebase. And since we use coroutines for Firebase, we can call dot await after that. So we only continue in that code when the authentication, the registration is finished. And when it is finished, we want to check the new logged in state. So if everything went well, then the user is currently logged in because that is how Firebase handles it. If a user registers successfully, then he is automatically logged in. And in that case, we want to update our text view to notify the user about his logged in state. We also need to do that with a with context block because we want to change a text view here, dispatches.main. And here I will create a function check locked in state, which doesn't exist yet, but we will write that now. So let's scroll a little down and I actually make a little space here. And let's add a function, a private function, check locked in state. And all that function will do is check if the user is currently logged in and update our text view accordingly. That is very easy to do. We just check if our auth dot current user is equal to null. So if that user is null, then we know he is not currently logged in. And then we can set our TV logged in text view dot text to you are not logged in. And in case that object is not null, then we know that our user is logged in. And then we can set our TV lo TV logged in dot text to you are locked in. And now we also need to call that register user function, of course, when we click on our button. So let's write button register dot set on click listener and simply register a new user. And really, that is now everything we need to do to register a new user that is really simple with Firebase. But currently, if we try it out, it won't work because there is one more thing we need to do. And that is setting up an authentication method in our Firebase console. So maybe you remember from the last video, we have that Firebase console, that website of Firebase with which we can manage our Firebase project. And if we quickly open that up, that is my Firebase project. Yours will probably be named differently. And you can also get that link to that Firebase console in this video's description, of course. But here you can see on the left hand side that menu, if we now click on authentication, then we can see we can set up a sign in method. And that is needed to be able to authenticate with our Firebase. So let's click on that. And here you can see all the available options that Firebase provides with which users can register and log into your app. And since we use an email and password authentication, we also need to check that one. Currently the status is disabled, but if we click on that little pen here, then we can enable it. And if we want that, we could also only authenticate with the user's email so that he always gets a link sent to his email and if he clicks on that link, he will be signed in. So he doesn't have a password, but that is nothing I will do in this tutorial. We just enable that first toggle here and click on save. And after that, you can see that email and password authentication is now enabled. So if we now go back into Android Studio and run our app and try it out, and there we go. Let's register a new user, test at test.com. I already tested that with my other app. You can choose, of course, your own email. And as a password, I will choose password. And if we now click on register, wait a little moment and you can see we are logged in. And if we take a look back in our Firebase console, make sure to be in the authentication tab and click on users. Then you can see here is our newly registered user test at test.com. And you can also see that each user has its unique user ID, which is really useful to differentiate between different users. So that is everything for registration. And if you want to log in an existing user, that is also very similar and very easy to do. Let's jump back into Android Studio. And for that, we can just copy this register user function, paste it below. I will call this register or not register login user, of course. I will change the, the edit text to et email login and et password login. 
And the only thing we need to change for the authentication itself is this function here. We don't want to create a user with email and password. Instead, we want to sign in with email and password. And that is everything we need to change to actually log in a user instead of registering it. And if we now scroll up and add an on click listener to our button login, then we can call that login user function. And also important to know is Firebase will keep the current user logged in. So if a user is logged in, it will also be logged in after the app restarted. And to actually update our UI accordingly to that, we should override the on start function and simply call check logged in state. So just that every time we open the app, we check if the user is currently logged in. And if it is, we change the text we accordingly that he is currently logged in. So you can see if I now rerun our app, then we are already logged in, even though we didn't use this login form. But to actually demonstrate you that this login form is also working, let's sign that user out in onCreate. So auth.signout, that is also very easy to do. That just signs out the current user. And if we now rerun the app, and enter our email here, test at test.com. And as a password, I chose password and click on login. Then you can see now we are logged in again. So that are the very basics of Firebase authentication. The next videos will go a little bit deeper in that topic. And I hope everything got clear to you. You understood everything. If so, please let me know in the comments. And also if you have any questions, don't mind asking them. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.